start ko pa lang. Tungtua na. I'm just super, 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 super. Super excited to share na meron ng Maya personal loan. And with this, you can borrow from 15,000 pesos to 250,000 pesos payable in monthly installments. So, maganda pa siya. Paano ba magkaroon ng offer? Paano ba maging qualified? Yan yung ating mag-uusapan sa video na to. So, if you are into loan products, then please keep watching. <laughs> Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Red and this video is not sponsored. <laughs> tawa ako ng tawa guys. I am so sorry. Super excited ako. Kasi kayo ba naman? Isang linggo nyo na ako kinukulit. Buti na lang guys. Kagabi, nagkaroon ako ng offer. Araw-araw ko kaya sinisilip tong si Maya ever since nag-start kayong mag-request. So itong personal loan ni Maya guys, andun siya sa, under siya sa loans na tab. So, kung kayo nagtataka kung bakit wala pang ganon, then punta muna kayo doon sa Google Play Store. Prompt kayong mag-update. It's under the loans tab. And sabi dito, personal loan, let's make your dreams happen. Wow, drama si Maya, no? Click apply now if you're interested. Yun, meron siyang overview on the next page. Sabi niya, get up to 250,000 pesos in an instant. That's the keyword. Ito yung gusto natin. Is it really instant? O baka naman instant reject? So, pay with easy monthly installments up to six months. So this worried me because okay lang kung 15,000 pesos, then 6 months makes uh, makes um, sense. Pero paano kung 250 yung gusto mo? So, babayaran mo siya in 6 months. Pero, the good thing about it is, promising siya, mukhang mababa yung interest niya. Meron siyang privacy notice, masahin niyo lang yan, and then click continue. Nagubungad tong data privacy niya. Siyempre, magsascroll, scroll, scroll kayo hanggang sa baba bago nyo i-click yung content. Dapat kasi iniintindi yung mga ganito, ha? Parang siyang may loan calculator kung saan isi-set up mo na bali yung loan mo. So, ayan, you can choose um, anywhere from 15,000 pesos to 250 pesos. Pero, iisa lang yung term. Tinry-try ko ibang amount. 6 months lang talaga siya, mga best. And then, sa baba, makikita mo, more or less, yun yung babayaran mo in the next 6 months. Kung sakaling ma-approve ka. So, kung sakaling ma-approve ka sa 15,000 pesos, you're more or less gonna pay 2,623.92 per month. And kung sakaling ma-approve ka naman sa 250 pesos, you're more or less gonna pay 43,731.98 per month in the next 6 months. Pero may note siya because it says actual amount might change after loan approval. And ito yung palagi kong sinasabi sa inyo guys ha. Manage your expectations kapag nag-a-apply ng mga ganito. Because kahit na yung gusto nating applyan is ganitong amount, syempre subject to bank's approval yan. Uh -oh. Mag-expect ka na yung i-approve sa'yo may be more or less. Isipin mo kung gusto mo talaga magpatuloy and then click continue kung buo na yung isipan mo. Pati hindi ba dyan nagtatapos guys? Hihingin niya yung information about your income. Siyempre, Maya wants to see kung kaya mong bayaran yung ina-applyan mong loan. So here, i-indicate mo yung monthly pay mo after tax. Hindi po yung gross, but yung pagkatapos siyang minusan ng tax. And then, ano ba yung nature of work, source of income, please specify, and then your job title. After that, click continue. Tell us about yourself. Hihingi ni Maya yung reason kung bakit ka nag-loan. So, may iba't ibang choices dyan. Nasa inyo na kung ano yung pipiliin nyo. And then, once you've selected your reason, then just click next. Uh, pagkatapos yan, ibibigay mo lang yung email address mo, yung gender, civil status, married, single, divorced, blah, blah, blah. And then, TIN. Ito, marami yung matutuwa because yung TIN is optional. But guys, usually kapag bank ko ka maglo-load, hihingi talaga yun ng TIN. If you have a TIN or tax identification number, please provide. At kung wala ka man TIN and in the future may plano kang umutang sa mga bangko, please get one. So kung may TIN ka, just indicate kung wala, don't worry. It's not a big deal. And then sa baba, indicate the name of your company or your business. And then click continue. So, um, page 4 of 4, papakonfirm niya sa'yo kung sure na sure ka na. Sa 15,000, yun yung inaplayan ko, payable in 6 months. So, yung monthly due is more or less 2,623.92. Yung nakakasad na part kasi pagkatapos kong isubmit yung information. And I think a lot of you can relate. And this is okay because we're all learning. So, looks like you're not eligible for personal loan. Ah. 
Improve your credit rating by buying from shop, paying bills, and paying with QR or your Maya card at partner merchants. In short, kailangan gamitin mo pa more, more, more itong si Maya para maging deserve, mas deserve mong mag-personal loan dito. Anong credit rating? Ano ba yung batayan ng credit rating? It is something na hindi natin readily accessible. Hindi tulad ni Gcash na meron po siyang pinapakita ang G-score sa atin. Kasi yung G-score, yun yung batayan kung ma... ma Uh, approve tayo sa mga loan products ni Gcash. I guess, um, para magkaroon ng personal loan or magkaroon ng offer ng personal loan kay Maya, the most important thing is, syempre, meron kang Maya account. And when it comes to being legit, si Maya is super legit, guys, because it's a digital bank that's registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission and regulated by Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. Siyempre, dapat magkaroon ka ng Maya and then dapat upgraded siya, meaning nagbigay ka ng ID mo para ma-access mo yung mga savings, yung other features ni Maya and it's also one way of proving na hindi ka fraud. And by the way, don't forget na dapat registered yung SIM mo. Huwag ka masaad kung wala ka pang personal loan. Andiyan naman si Maya Credit that I have talked about in a previous video. And also ngayon, meron siyang pay in for which actually I'm starting to like. Sneak peek guys, because of this Maya pay in for ganda ganda guys ng glasses na nabili. Installment, 0% pay in for. Bayaran mo lang yung first installment. Totally worth it guys. And the best part is that pay in for installment siya. Kaya nga, huwag nga masad kung wala ka pang personal loan. Baka avail na sa'yo yung ibang um, loan products ni Maya. But you will never know unless may Maya account ka guys. Wala kang talo dito kasi pwede ka rin mag-save. And the interest is higher than... Um, traditional banks. Um, Maya is really catching up very fast sa kay Gcash. So, but which one is better? Si Maya ba? Or si Gcash? Kaya kung hindi ka pa subscribe sa channel ko, subscribe ka na dito kasi remember, ngayon hindi ako approved. So, hindi kumpleto yung aking um, video about this Maya personal loan. Hindi ito muna tayo magtatapos. But I do wish that I will see you on my next vlog. Bye!